Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic as ever to have you here because we're here in Montana, recently moved to the US, and the first bladed project that we're going to be making is a US Civil War cavalry saber. It's going to be pretty amazing, and what's even more amazing is in yesterday's episode, we made our own steel. And so today, in part one, of making our cavalry saber. We're gonna be making a little more steel from Montana Wagon Tire. Will and Colin are over there making some more in the hearth furnaces. And then we're gonna begin processing down these blooms of steel under the power hammer into bars that are eventually gonna be the blade of our sword. Before we get into the video, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Honey. It is a money-saving app that integrates so amazingly into your browser and is gonna save you money at checkout by getting you coupon codes, and it is unbelievable how well this works. I have saved hundreds upon hundreds of dollars using Honey, installing it as as simple as two clicks. Click my link in the description, go install it, and start saving money in checkout today at thousands of online retailers. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring the video. We're gonna hop right in. Okay, these guys are now at charge number six. six of the last two blooms here. They're gonna work on those. Meanwhile, back inside the workshop, I've got Will's forge lit. We've got the power hammer warming up right here. I've got two blooms in the gas forge, about eight down there. And very gently, I'm gonna start working them down and processing them, consolidating them into a more solid mass. They're very spongy and porous right now. We've gotta forge weld them back into themselves work them down and do a whole lot of that to refine this and make this into steel suitable for our cavalry saber. So we've been having some difficulty with this, sadly. Now, it's normal that this stuff is crusty and pretty crumbly at this stage. That's just how it goes. But the trouble is, is it's just crustier and crumblier than we'd ideally like it. We've even got to the point of some of these just being complete failures and rejects that just can't be used. Part of the process is there is the requirement to process the steel and work it and keep working it to work it down into a usable material. And we know there's wastage. We accounted for it. So much so that we made 20 pounds of the bloomery steel. I think steel. more than 20, because we made 12 blooms and each one should weigh approximately two pounds. So it's a lot of steel <laughs> that we made because we wanted to account for the failure, for the loss. So that's good. It's a shame to actually experience that failure and loss. But it's part of the game. We hope we have enough. What Will has been doing is he has four pieces that have been worked up under the power hammer. He's ground the faces and tack welded them together. After the fact, those welds are gonna get ground off so we don't contaminate the steel with, uh, with MIG welding wire. But the whole aim here is to take those four pieces, put them back in the forge and weld them down just like a Damascus billet. Keep drawing it out, cut it, fold it, cut it, fold it, rework it, 
so that eventually we increase the quality of our material. It's some pretty crumbly stuff, that's for sure, but hopefully after this round it's gonna go a little better. So this material down here isn't necessarily a lost cause. Just because it's crumbled doesn't mean we can't flatten it back out, stack it up, and weld it all together again. And the Japanese style, it was pretty much reliant on just breaking the steel up into a bunch of pieces, stacking it up and welding it all together. And then after it was all stacked up and welded into a billet, then they would forge it and fold it out into a solid bar. So hopefully, we're not going too far wrong with some of these pieces falling apart. And with enough heat, enough patience, and enough time, we're gonna get them back together. We're about to take the heat and get that stack of four bars welded up. has progress on the billet. Progress has had a little bit of a hiccup. What's happened is a couple of our welds have split and what happened is the welds have created like a taco with our billet. So they're stuck on the edges but the center of it has a gap. So what we need to do is we fill it up with flux and then we'll start from the back of our billet and push all the flux outward and hopefully the core welds if it's good and hot and clean on the inside. So what you're saying is, is we might be right at the precipice of complete failure? Probably not, maybe. So I'm gonna fire up the hammers and I'm gonna do the honors of either having this thing completely destroy itself or having it work. We're gonna see, sadly it might be the former and not the latter. So here is what we have at the end of the day. This piece has a whole bunch of folds. It's been folded one way, it's been folded the other way. It has a total of six, six folds after the initial stack of the four blooms. So this started off as eight pounds of steel and uh, now definitely weighs significantly more. Less. Less. Thank you, well spotted. So this is a very wasteful process, it's a very difficult process, and uh, like I said earlier, we're on the precipice of failure about every single time we do this, because bits are falling off, there are cracks that are happening, and uh, so hopefully, 
it ends up being a very good sword. This is going to be it for today. So as we round out the video, I want to again thank our sponsor, which is Honey. It's a money saving tool that takes two clicks to install and is completely free. And it's going to save you a whole bunch of money. I absolutely love using Honey. And uh, I make sure that I have that installed as a plugin on my browser, on all of my computers, because I have saved hundreds upon hundreds of dollars on sites like Duluth Trading Co. and MSC. It's just absolutely fantastic, the amount of money you're going to save with Honey. So, you can support my channel and start saving some money by going to the link in the description below. Installing Honey is going to take two clicks. You're going to be saving money, which is just fantastic. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure to go grab yourself a Celsius I Use Freedom Height shirt because once you install Honey and you then go to alexsealshop.com, you're going to be able to get yourself a nice little, nice little 10% discount with that little app. Thank you guys for watching. Can't wait to see you on part two of building this cavalry saber as we work on refining some more of our steel. Bye-bye.